you know, God can reveal something about every last one of us, just one thing that we are trying to keep secret, and it will change the way we see and perceive others. Working with these young men in these gangs, and whew, it's just amazing. I call them the thrown away, blown away, forgotten, the mistreated, the mishandled, the, the abused. It's, 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 as I said, God can reveal one thing about me, you, others, all of us that will change the way we look at people. Working with these young men over the last 15 years, you know, and coming from the projects myself and being, you know, an ex-everything, ex-drug dealer, ex-drug addict, uh, just, just a wayward young man, a wayward, not a wayward child because my parents, they, they put in me, you know, as best as they could. But along the way, I veered off course, but thank God for the righteous upbringing of my parents. If you have one or two parents, you know, they, all parents should give their best. And those of us who have given our best and those of us who have received the best from my parents, we owe it to them to prevail, to go on, to be determined not to fail. And as I stated, it's the hidden sins, it's the presumptuous sins, it's the sins that we don't want nobody to know about, the hang-ups and the faults and flaws that we try to hide that discourages and destroys us the most. So we have to allow God access into those closets that where we have all our baggage at. You know, we'll direct God to this closet and that closet, but it's a certain apartment within our heart that He wants access to. Just like we try to give him this and he want that. So as I stated, God can reveal something about every single one of us. Just one thing. It'll change the way we perceive others. So let's give God total access to all compartments of our heart and our mind. So he can change us on the inside. Peace. That's how you get real peace. Hmm, to know God. It's to know God. Know God. Know peace. Hallelujah.